Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your glutton Matt having some shawarma today. I was requested to do donor or donair, however you want to pronounce it, a while back. One thing I didn't know before was that shawarma and donor and yiru are all basically like the same thing, but shawarma was the closest thing nearby, so I went with that. I've actually never had shawarma before, so you're going to see me do a lot of things wrong today. But what I have here was a mix of chicken and beef platter uh, shawarma, and then two wraps here. One of them's lamb and one of them's falafel. I'm not sure which one though, so we'll just have to wait and see and get into them. And then for dessert, I have some baklava or some baklava, however you want to pronounce it, depending on who you are. But let's get started. And then some dips, which I have no idea what kind of dips these are, like sour cream and hummus maybe. Oh, that's garlic for sure. And this is probably hummus, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. So let's dig into it. So on the platter here, we have like the shawarma, the shawarma, of course. And then we have some like roasted potatoes and then some vegetables. Mm. So I'm actually going to get some healthy eating today. Look at that. You don't see that in my videos very often. Some nice vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. You'll notice I tried my best to pronounce each of those foods. But I know I know I'm sure I butchered them anyway. I like to try and know how to say things properly before I do a video of them. But if I say something wrong, please correct me in the comments. Feel free. I don't mind. Mm. And if I eat something wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments too. Mm. So we got a bit of rice in there too. I have a piece of like flatbread here, which I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Is it like Indian food where you put something on it or like, like I'm not sure. And then eat it. I know I'm going to do that wrong. I dip it in this stuff. My biggest fear is just like offending the person whose country of origin like their food comes from. Just like getting something in the comments like, you're not supposed to eat it that way. Same goes with pronouncing it. Like someone, will, no one's done it so far. Everyone's so nice who comments, but just like one, I'm afraid like one day they'll be like, you're not supposed to pronounce it that way. You pronounce it like this. Mm. I need to bust out a drink. Couldn't decide what I wanted to drink today. So no tea. So I guess I just ended up going with the old eggnog. I didn't open up. On my last chip video. Let's see how that goes. Mm. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know about like eggnog going together with Middle Eastern food, but oh well. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's some fine eggnog right there. That whiskey goes good in it. Real good. Oh man. All right. Let's get into some of this actual meat here. So there's the chicken. Oh, I lost some.
Mmm. Mmm. I really like that sauce. Whatever you call that. Okay, let's try out one of these wraps. We'll just have to bite into it to find out what's in there. Mmm. This looks like it's the falafel one. If you can see that there. So I don't know if I'm doing this right. It is very good though. I didn't think I would not like it, that's for sure. There are very few food in this world that I don't like. I'm not a very picky eater, that's for sure. I don't know if I'll offend anyone, but the one thing I hate the most in the world is mushrooms. I can't stand mushrooms. Anyone out there agree with me or disagree? Let, <clears throat> let me know. Move that up. I almost need a spoon for this. All right. So here's some of the beef shawarma. Mm. Oh, the only problem with drinking something alcoholic is if you get something stuck in your throat, you can't really just chug it down to help clear it. Okay, Ooh. something stuck in my teeth. Let's go with the next wrap. So this is obviously going to be the lamb one, the lamb kebab. Mmm. Don't fall apart on me now. Mm. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. It's coming apart on me, but the lamb is like right there on the side. Mm. 
I did not want to stay together. Oh, there we go. Okay, one last bite. I was not going to be able to take that any more than one more bite. Okay. Oh, man. There we go. Having a hard time of eating today, guys. That's for sure. Anyway. This is actually, like I said, my first time eating shawarma. Which is pretty uh, crazy for Canadian. I don't know about where you guys live. But, like, shawarma places are just everywhere in Canada. There's a ton of them. So to go this long in my life without having shawarma is pretty unbelievable. I think everyone else I know has had shawarma at least once. There's that last bit of beef there. I'm just gonna have to shovel the rest of that in my mouth because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get that all with just my fork. There we go. Time for dessert. Let's have some of this baklava, baklava, whatever. Like little mini ones. I need a drink. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that's good. All right, there we go. Mm. Mm. 
I've never had that before either. It's a really tasty little pastry dessert. I like that a lot. Mm. I don't know what it is, but I get like a little bit of a hint of a cotton candy from that. It seems strange. It's like, it seems like the furthest thing from cotton candy, but I don't know. Maybe it's just like a little bit of sweetness or sugariness to it, but I definitely get like cotton candy in there. I enjoyed that a lot though. That was probably like the healthiest takeout that's not homemade food that I've had in a long time that I've got from somewhere else that's not like made that my mom's made or something. So that was good to have that, some takeout that was healthy at the same time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out.